enemy's love never fails. As recognized by the Church of Christ, but also as authorized by the province of Manitoba, I hereby pronounce you to be husband and wife. Joshua, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for the very first time, let me introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Joshua and Brittany Eastbrook. Good morning, everybody. It's kind of a gloomy day outside, but we're pretty excited. We think it's gonna be a good day. We're gonna go into Winnipeg. You know, just sniff around a little bit, just look around at a few things. I don't wanna spoil it too much, but it's a pretty exciting day. So we're here at the GM dealership. Somebody's looking at getting a new vehicle. I sure as heck am. Someone's been working hard. And so we are here test driving a GMC Terrain. A 2015. Yep. Need something safe for those highways and something that can fit a car seat in the future. We're not pregnant yet. FYI. Not yet, but. but we're, we're hoping soon. Hey guys, how's it going? wanted to release a, a quick and special video for you guys just a little bit of an announcement a lot of you probably know already but just so that all the rumors are put to bed we're having a baby we're, she's pregnant we're not pregnant I'm pregnant she's pregnant he's not pregnant I keep saying we're we're pregnant apparently that's not correct no she's pregnant now we're both very excited uh, we've been trying for nine months nine months we've had the the doctor confirm it yeah. We've got our first appointment already. And our first prenatal is on July 23rd. Mm -hmm. We might get to hear the heartbeat. I hope so. Good morning, everybody. We're on our way out. It's the big day. Big, big, big day. Well, a big, big, big day. Want to tell them what's happening? It's Doppler day. So the reason today is so important and so special to us, because this is the first time that we get to hear our babies. Heartbeat. We're very excited. It's a big day, one that we'll probably remember forever. So. Probably, so we better put it on film. Mm -hmm. We should make a vlog. We should make a vlog. You guys want a vlog? You guys want to come with us? Here we are. Won't be long now. Just gotta wait for her. There's the super cool jelly that's gonna go on my belly. Mm -hmm. Oh, that rhymed. Like a Dr. Seuss. So unfortunately today we weren't able to hear the heartbeat. I am just not quite far along enough. I'm only 12 weeks and it is my first pregnancy. So it's actually very common to not hear the heartbeat until 16, 17 weeks. So we're gonna try again in three weeks. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can hear it then. It's a little disappointing, but uh, yeah. it's still really early. I got my load unloaded here and I'm uh, headed over to Minnesota to pick up my new load. And uh, I just got some really bad news from back home. Uh, Britt went into the hospital early this morning and uh, we, we lost the baby. She had a miscarriage. The absolute worst part of all of this was that this happened on Britt's birthday. On her birthday. Uh, I'm here in Wisconsin and I can't get home till Friday night. So she's got family that's staying with her till I get home. But this is one of the hardest parts of this job. I'm gonna tell you right now, and every, every father or husband or anybody in general, <laughs> anyone with loved ones can agree with this and confirm this with you. This is the hardest part of the job. I should be there right now at the hospital with her. The hardest thing is being out here and feeling helpless that I can't do anything to get there right now. Even if I booked it straight home from here, I can't make it home in a day from here. I'd only be home tomorrow and... It's 
the new day, Chevy. Want to come say hi to Phyllis with me? Where are you going? Hey. She does that every time I turn on my GoPro too. <laughs> it's my party trick. Look. So today we're running into Winnipeg. We have a doctor's appointment uh, to check a few things out. We'll talk about that more on the way. We're downtown Winnipeg. So we have to come park in this underground parking area, which I don't like. Is this it? This has got to be it. Yeah. That's a pretty big grand entrance. See you guys when we get out. So yeah, we made it home. Uh, we actually had a very good visit with the doctor. Everything in Brit looks to be working right. She's got a few more tests to do just to make sure her reproductive system is all working as it should. But it all, all seems like we got good news today. We're feeling good about it. Uh, the specialist we saw was very nice and very informative, very patient, and explained stuff in normal words for us to understand. And uh, all in all, uh, we're, we're very happy. So, got a couple more tests to do for Brit. Uh, I've got to go and do another sample. I'll go sample in about two to three months just to make sure that I'm maintaining above average levels. And we sort of just got to stick to a schedule with uh, our... Baby making. I'm sure there's too much information for you already, so I'll just end end right there. But he he gave us like a schedule and stuff we got to do to follow, and we're hoping you know maybe within the next few months we can have a baby and uh, have a healthy pregnancy and healthy birth. We had uh, for those of you who are tuning in uh, who haven't watched our past vlogs, we had one miscarriage. Uh, last month, no, I mean last year uh, in July. And uh, it was really hard, especially for Britt to go through. And uh, so here we are almost a year later and still trying. Good morning, Weasel. Good morning, Weasel. Who's that over there? Who's that? Who's that? That's Chevy. Good morning, Chevy. It looks like a beautiful day out today. Oh, yes. Not too hot, not too cold. Now today we're actually going into Winnipeg. We have that fertility appointment that we both need to be for, be there for. Uh, it's a specialist appointment, so it's, it's a special appointment that we had to uh, make a special arrangement to be at. And we can't really reschedule these very quickly because specialists. Ready to go? Mm -hmm. Do we got everything? Yep. Wallet, phone, keys. Everything Husband. else? Husband, wife. Okay. You got me, I got you. Okay. Yep, this is it, apparently. Here we go. Seventh floor. Here we are, we just got into the room. Doctor will be in shortly. All right, so we both got several more tests we need to go through. She's got a few more than me. And medications for me. Uh, we won't go into all the little details other than that. It's another blood test and another uh, special. They need another sample here instead of over there. It's a, it's a different test, but they'll need another sample from me. So, we're gonna go and get a couple of our blood tests done today. At least we're uh, taking another big step in the right direction. They got me good. Stoke you. They stole my blood. They stuck me too. Stole your blood too. They only stole one of yours. They stole three of mine. You got three stolen? So that's not the end of it. We have to go to another medical clinic now and give more blood. And she's got to give another urine sample yet. Good morning everybody. Today is the exciting day we've been waiting for. Today's the day we go into Winnipeg for the IUI procedure. This is a procedure I've talked about in the past uh, that helps us with infertility. Because we're having trying we're trying to have a baby. And uh, we've been having some difficulty over the past few years, and today is the day when they take my guys and they drop them off at the finish line. We're here. 
today might be the day. We'll see. So we have some good news. Um, you want to tell them? It's, it's... There's still eggs in there. They yeah. just haven't released yet. They're taking their sweet time because they're stubborn like me. They belong to me. The amount of stuff ladies have to go through in the whole pregnancy process, birth, you guys are amazing. We had an appointment today for the insemination. So this is the process we're taking to have a baby, our first baby. Just leaving. You doing okay? Yeah, just cramping. I'm okay though. I'll live. Now we wait. Find out the results later this month. Today's the big day. We gotta run all the way into Winnipeg now. I've got my appointment at 9.30. I thought it was at 9 o'clock. Apparently it's at 9.30. And she's got hers at 11.30. This is for IUI. It's only our second time. It's been over a year since we went for our last one. Mm -hmm. COVID kind of put a bit of a damper in our plans. Yeah, it set us back by a year. Minus 29. Oh, winter time is fun. Ah, oh boy, it's supposed to be warming up. We gotta head into the Winnipeg, head into the Winnipeg, head into Winnipeg right now. Uh, the, the fertility clinic that we go to is uh, like way in St. James, way on the west side of town. So it takes a good while to get there, probably a good hour, hour and a bit. Very important to bring your wife to the fertility appointments. Crucial, they might say. Generally speaking. Yeah, all the stuff she's got to go through. Uh, what are we doing today exactly, real quick? Uh, just an ultrasound. I'm not really sure what it's for. I guess they're just checking to make sure everything's still good to carry a baby in there and implant. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought it was. Just like a preliminary, just a checkup, just checking things out. Yeah, the first step. Let's go. All right, we got our Timmy's. It's time to go. We have arrived, and I am in the official husband's waiting lot where we wait they don't allow us to go up there which is which is terrible so for all of these procedures unless if things change with the restrictions and stuff all of these procedures i can't even be there in the room with her up there i have to wait down here in the vehicle just sort of like to be there but they don't allow that so that's that's a bit of a sad part and that's the world we live in right now so we'll make the most of it do what we can and uh, at least i'll be right here right just, just outside here. She's uh, right there, somewhere around there, on that floor. So we made it home. Uh, the appointment I think went really well. She seemed really happy when she came down the stairs or down the elevator. It was great. What they, what the doctor say? I have ten big eggs, and that's without any medication. So he thanked me for having such beautiful ovaries. It was a little awkward, but I like my doctor. What a nice doctor. He's a nice guy. He really <laughs> knows how to give a lady a compliment. So uh, well, yeah, so it sounds like our IVF is going to be more on the, I don't want to say cheaper end, because definitely not cheap, but on the slightly less cripplingly expensive end. Yeah, it might be, it looks like it could be up to $2,000 less than what they had predicted. Hope so. Even less than that would be great, but. But I guess they gave us the high end estimate, yeah. so we might not need everything, which is super nice. Yeah. She so. seemed really happy, and I think it was ten follicles, right? Not ten eggs, or is it the same thing? It's the same thing. Yeah. What do I know? It's just that the strongest one will survive. Oh. Okay. They're gonna give me medication, not this this time around, but next time, I guess they're gonna give me medication so that none of them die off and they just continue to grow. Might be a little bit painful, but I'm I'm fine with pain as long as we get a baby out of it. And they're gonna give you a little bit of meds to maybe get more too, oh, right? Yeah, it'd be nice to get like 15, 20, 25, 30. Yeah, 15 to 20 eggs and then they harvest them. Oh, they give her a medication, right? To make sure that they don't kill each other, that they all yeah, like, that mature. Yeah, they die off so that they all mature. And then they go in there and retrieve them. Harvest them. Uh, yeah, I thought retrieve was a nicer word to use, but yeah, they harvest. They harvest me like a crop. 
So she's, I'm not looking forward to that and I don't even gotta go through that. But we're gonna have a baby. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but by this time next year, we could be parents. It's go time. First ultrasound, well, not the first, but. One of many. One of many. Let's yeah. start this process the first. Yeah, so good luck. Have fun. Is that what you're supposed to say in this situation? Not at all. <laughs> good luck. Cheerio. <laughs> so we're here at the fertility clinic in Winnipeg again. And she's got to go in for an ultrasound. This is literally the beginning of go time for the IVF procedure that we're, uh, we're going for right now. Next week, we'll be here every second day or so. I'll let her explain everything to you uh, when she comes back down. But I gotta wait in the car. Chevy, Diesel. You guys concerned about mom? Lots of needles. <laughs> so we jumped ahead uh, until we got home. We uh, talked to you guys outside the fertility clinic there. And from there we had to go and pick up uh, prescriptions. These are the big ones. A plethora of injectable drugs. Not the fun kind though. <laughs> Not the fun kind at all. Uh, I'm kind of glad I don't got to go through this, but I feel bad for feeling that way. <laughs> he bought me a blizzard, made up for it, and some clothing. So. Blizzards fi fix everything. So uh, let's show them what we all got here. So, these here is that, right? Nope, nope that's different. This these are the first ones. So she's got to take two needles. I'll let you explain. <laughs> this is my Menoper, which I believe is like a menopause drug. But, uh, so we're gonna take this liquid and use two of these powdered vials and mix it together in a syringe. So this is one day, this is one day, and then we have another pack. Yeah. Is this it? For a total no, of five days, one. right? Yeah. For a total of five days, and then I go back for an ultrasound. Okay. The results of the ultrasound. I had 14 follicles, which is a decent number. It's not as many as I hoped for, but you have too many, it gets extra painful, and I'm already dying, so. Yeah, so hopefully they all respond to this medication, and they get them all during the surgery. This is the first needle that you take every day for five days, right? Right. Okay, so... Some liquid and some powder that gets dissolved into them. And those are the syringes. Yeah. The syringes, but where's the needle? That's for medical waste, but that's what this is for, the sharps container. Sharps container. Biohazard. You're a biohazard now. You're a biohazard. You're putting that stuff in you. Oh shoot, I've got to put it You're gonna start glowing. <laughs> Lime green. So after she takes the first syringe, the first needle, then this is the second needle. And this comes in like a pre-packaged syringe and everything. That's very technical. I'm lost, guys. I can't find the actual needles for this. Are they not in these packages? I think it's not included in that somewhere? No. These are... Oh, wait, wait. Oh, there they are. Oh. <laughs> Found them. Found them. Crisis, Crisis averted. Averted. I was going to say the <laughs> same thing. We've been married for a while. Yeah. Okay. I found the needles. Okay. Um. So where are you going to, where do you put them? Uh. Show the just below the navel line. So right around here and never in the same spot. So like an inch apart each day. So I'll have some bruises, but no big deal. I'm not scared of needles. I hope none of you are either. If you are squeamish, turn away. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna show ourselves. Well, I don't know if you're gonna do it. If I'm gonna do it. I'll do one and you can do one. Okay. This will be fun. I kind of, I kind of want to do one. We're bonding. Yeah. So we are gonna show the needles and uh, as they're being injected into her on her stomach. So like she was saying, if you don't like needles, just a heads up. There's going to be needles coming there up here soon. There shouldn't be any blood though, I don't think. Like I'm yeah. not drawing back and 
there shouldn't be any blood. If there is, it'll literally be the tiniest little dot after I pull out the needle. There shouldn't be anything to write home about. Especially with Trucker Josh, he gets squeamish with large amounts of human blood. Just human blood. I don't like human blood. It's supposed to be inside the body. It doesn't belong outside the body. So uh, if you're wondering, for those of you who are wondering what this all costs, for these, so whatever you call these things, for all of this, it was about $2,200. Yes. And just for five days. Just for five days, yeah. And there will be more yet, so that's not it. It's $2,200 plus there's more next week. But we have to wait, wait till then. Yeah, ultrasound. And then I'm on, I think, just this one after that. Okay. But possibly a different dosage. And for the procedure of all of these ultrasounds and the uh, harvesting of going in to get the eggs, the surgery, everything up until what they call the transfer where they actually implant the blastocyst everything up to there cost well eight thousand eight hundred and twenty dollars canadian here in manitoba for that and we there, there's a really good tax program in manitoba so we actually get a lot of that back uh when we claim our taxes next year so that'll help quite a bit i don't know what i'm doing i don't know what i'm doing I'm gonna right. have to, uh, okay I help you? so you know what maybe if i just take out what i need and then it won't seem so overwhelming. Okay. We've never done this before, guys. You are learning as we are learning. This is a very overwhelming process. And aside from my one cousin and his wife who did this years ago, I don't have anybody to ask about this and she barely remembers the process because it's been a while. We didn't film the first ones. We wanted to get a good grip of how everything worked before filming ourselves doing it. Would have been very embarrassing the first night. I think I was more stressed out than she was. <laughs> there was a bit of anxiety involved. End of that. Now we screw the needle on. Yep. Was I supposed to take the cap off first? You pull the cap straight up. Ah, there we go. There we go. Ready? Yeah, saw a drip. Okay. Hey, right. okay, you'll see the spots from yesterday. <laughs> They're so hard to see. <laughs> you said about an inch away from the other side? Thankfully, you can just grab your fat. If you have any, I got no problems. And pinch. So that was the complicated one that we actually have to mix ourselves. The next one's actually like ready to go pretty much. So much easier. I don't know why they all can't be like that, but I guess it has to stay in powder form until it's ready to be injected or something. I know that was probably painful for some of you to watch, but like, I get so overwhelmed by that one. <laughs> I just, why can't they make it so much simpler like this Gonal F pen? There's a needle in there, and then you can uh, like judge to see how much you're actually giving yourself. So it's, like, it's zero there now, but you can set to how much actually goes in. There's all kinds of different dosages. You just turn the little end, we'll show you. And then you can reuse it uh, with a different needle, obviously but you can reuse the pen. Alrighty. Okay, where should we uh, put another, call this my Easter egg basket, cause I'm gonna be full of little purple Easter eggs. It's almost <laughs> Easter. stuff that her body's got to go through and it, I can't imagine but women are pretty awesome aren't they they can make babies good morning today's the big day 
How you feeling? Today is surgery day, egg retrieval. She is the star of the show today. I mean, I have my part, my uh, five minutes, uh, but the rest of the day is all for her. Five minutes? Oh. 10 maybe? I mean, <laughs> I could drag it out. We could do 20. I don't know. Yeah, I yeah. think the nurses want you to be quick and efficient. She gave us a thumbs up. She's doing good. Let's go. I get to come in this time. Mm -hmm. You ready? I guess. I'm too tired to be nervous. That's good. So what happens when you go through surgery and have your eggs retrieved? You get rewarded with McDonald's. They told me to eat lots of salt. I'm eating salt. <laughs> He's eating salt too. He didn't have surgery. No, I'm not high. <laughs> they gave her some kind of loopy drugs some and uh, was it really? Wow. They gave her the good stuff. They gave me Adam and fentanyl. Oh my. Uh, yeah, they uh, drugged her up a little bit to help with the surgery and I'm her chauffeur now. And the doctor's orders were to go get McDonald's. So here we are. Probably one of the only times the doctor will tell you to go and eat some McDonald's. You want to say anything? Want to add anything? Are you, you feeling good? In any pain? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit of pain? Mm -hmm. At least it's all over now. The hard part's over. They didn't. They didn't get quite as many as we were hoping. Uh, when we first went in, the first ultrasound said uh, they saw 14 follicles. The second one saw 10, right? And then the third one saw 11. 14, 12, 10, 11. But a lot of those were too small. They didn't grow the way that they thought they would. So we only had six mature follicles and one of them was empty. We got five eggs. Good morning, everybody. Today's the big day. It's embryo transfer day. Transfer day. This is the day we've been working up towards for years now. There's two. Uh, we're only gonna use one today. But uh, hopefully it takes. We might be a mommy and a daddy as of today. We'll see. Mm-hmm. We're at our fertility clinic right now. There's the familiar building behind us. I get to go up this time. They're letting me in the room. You ready? We better hurry. I'm gonna pee my pants. Yeah, she's, she's been instructed to go in with a full bladder. For whatever reason, that's what they need her to do. And a full bladder for me means half a bottle of water. Yeah. <laughs> so, there's that. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Very, very subtle. Yeah. Okay. I saw it, yeah. Cool.
we're in the bathroom of a random RTM home that we're looking at right now, and we got the results. I'm pregnant! <laughs> Woo! <Woo-hoo! laughs> I goodness, we're the only one in here. <laughs> years to the day since I've been pregnant. We lost my la- our last baby on my 29th birthday. So, holy crap guys, I'm pregnant, I'm pregnant, I'm pregnant! We're gonna have a baby. My alarm's going off from my meds. <laughs> I didn't catch the actual moment when we opened the message because we just sort of like dropped everything we were doing. Like I said, we're in this bathroom of this- Random RTM. Random RTM in the mirror here. And she opened it up and she was like, we're so nervous. You wanna, you wanna sure. read that first little paragraph there that? We've received your blood t- res- test results and the Heartland team is thrilled to let you know that your result has come back positive. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> it worked. We gotta call our parents and our siblings. We told you before our family. But it's not going live yet. Yeah, <laughs> they all already know by the time you guys watch this. <laughs> we gotta make some phone calls. <laughs> Look at the baby. It's there. With a heartbeat. And it, she's me- she or he is measuring perfectly. <gasps> there you are, baby. Look at Dr. Zoni's artwork. Yeah. <laughs> if he, you know what, if he ever decides to switch careers, I think he can make it as an artist. <laughs> Guess I need to press the button. Oh, we're so excited. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering why it's taking so long. Baby G, due April 1st, 2023. Britt is 12 weeks pregnant. We went in today to hear the heartbeat again. And yes, that's my birthday. I might have to share it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, it's five years in the making. Aww. It's an IVF, baby. <laughs> 163, you guys. 163, okay. Yeah, they said it should be around 170 at this it point. It can be so. up to 180, actually. 180, okay. Yeah, no, this is... Uh, at 12 weeks, then they start coming down. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. So this is a healthy heart rate, then. Yeah, excellent. Yes. Britt is 12 weeks pregnant. Today. What do you got here? Baby's heartbeat is 163 beats a minute. This is a onesie that I bought for the baby, but also for the announcement, because it's Rainbow Baby, which means a uh, 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 child born after infant loss or pregnancy loss. Like a little miracle baby. A little miracle baby. A science baby. Science baby. That's right. Thank you, science. IVF success. Yes. First try, too. Yeah, we got very lucky. First shot. Yeah, we still have one embryo left. So there might be a second second one coming down the road in the future. We'll see. If it doesn't happen naturally after this, maybe our bodies will just know what to do. Mm-hmm.